Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here still in Liverpool. You can see in the background Liverpool Cathedral, which we got a chance to visit earlier a couple days ago. It's great. I'm here with James Wood, who is the marketing manager for Visit Liverpool. And we're going to talk to him about what's going around, uh, what's going on here in this wonderful city. Uh, and there's a lot. It really is an amazing place to visit. This is my fourth time, and I could already can come back again. And we're going to find out about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, James, great to see you here. We've met a few times over the years, uh, and here we are in your home home city. Uh, again, I, I'm a Liverpool uh, fan, uh, not not in more ways than one. Uh, and so, but you know, this city has really uh, become known for a lot of different things. Obviously, the Beatles. Uh, and talk about that first of all. It is it is a center. You can actually have a Beatles immersion day here, right? You can indeed. In fact, you could probably spend several days here just looking at Beatles attractions. Um, so yeah, that is our our sort of main tour theme uh, so anyone interested in music and the Beatles great place to visit uh, several attractions like the Beatles story the Beatles Museum plus many tours strawberry field strawberry all the, field yeah. there are walking tours there's even a Beatles themed hotel called Hard Day's Night Hotel and a Beatles Museum and right a Beatles Museum absolutely yeah, um, I know I've managed to interview Rogue Best who is the uh, half brother of Pete Best the original drummer of the Beatles who uh, runs the museum yes. uh, but yesterday uh, I got a chance to uh, interview Julia Barrett who's John Lennon's sister Absolutely. so that was pretty cool so that's one thing of yeah. course for those of us who are football fans and I'm, I count myself one this is a football mecca too right it certainly is so yeah football is huge in the city so it sort of it, it sort of runs through the blood in everyone uh, you know so so Liverpool Football Club Everton Football Club are both which huge. is building a new new uh, stadium Everton right? it is indeed so Everton is, is currently building a huge new stadium right on the waterfront great position uh, and it's huge so they, they will then be able to host you know major events there as well Absolutely, uh, which would be good I just hope they get a little better in the in the in the, in the tables right now. well maybe we should move on from that conversation <laughs> <laughs> it's a very touchy subject in Liverpool about Everton versus Liverpool Football Club and don't even talk about Manchester United uh, things like that so anyway so that's another thing you're famous for and of course then there's the culture and the history I mean you go down by the port and you got these amazing uh, buildings the, the three uh, uh, what's the, th the, th the three graces, the three graces yeah right. so, so those are the, the sort of principal buildings which are on the waterfront so that's the Liver building the Cunard building and the Port of Liverpool building right. and they were built um, really to sort of to sort of show Liverpool's wealth uh, during the um, uh, 20th uh, uh, and 19th century um, so great architecture uh, anyone wanting a selfie great backdrop you also have the Beatles statues down there oh, as well yeah I have a few chats um, yeah. so really good place to visit yeah, yeah. and yeah. then of course you have the ferry across the Mersey uh, it's something you should do uh, which actually is a working ferry but you kind of little tour boat that goes over there right? yeah sure that's great so that, that tour lasts about 50 minutes and it's the best way to see Liverpool from, from that waterfront and then you, you can then see all the amazing architecture um, and also they have a commentary on there as well yeah. uh, which is really informative and that tells you all about the history of the city how it grew where the money came came from all the trading links around the world uh, so really good experience to do that yeah and then of course uh, uh, you go that whole area the docks docks part the, the all the docks down there is now a really incredible museum area you have the Tate Gallery you have other things down there Liverpool Museum uh, really a great place to go and explore and I never really get a chance enough to do that uh, here because we're racing around but it's, it's really museum central right it certainly is so Liverpool actually has more museums and art galleries than any other city outside London mm -hmm. So, you know, and we are quite a small city as well. So, you know, you can actually really easily walk around and, and experience so much in a short space of time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, certainly the museums and art galleries are world class. And, you know, you know, places like the Walker Art Gallery, the Tate Liverpool, yeah. uh, really great places to visit. And of course, being a former industrial city, um, that is shown in a lot of the architecture here. So that, that architecture has now been repurposed. So it was former warehousing for tobacco, for sugar, etc. Um, it is now uh, museums, art galleries, restaurants, apartments, etc. As, as you say, um, so it, it, is, it yeah. is an amazing section. You really have to spend some time down there. And we were lucky. I mean, a few times I've been able to go through there. Now, of course, then the other thing is you have in your sort of downtown areas. You got some great shopping, mm -hmm. some wonderful kind of outdoor mall areas, areas that are just uh, all kinds of stores. And then there was one street I came up. It's all like 
every ethnic restaurant I know demand you, you could go see, and you end at this wonderful the the the, the ruined the bombed out church that is just a lovely piece a, a memorial to in Liverpool. Yeah, absolutely. So Liverpool being you know that trading city, you know it's a melting pot of cultures, and that's shown in our in our food offer as well. Uh, so Bold Street, which is where you're talking about, um, that has got some amazing restaurants down there. So from all corners of the world, you can experience amazing uh, fine dining down there. Well, and then yeah. I was going to talk about fine dining leading up to uh, a meal that you and I had last night uh, at the art school, which I said, um, why, are they, why am I going to a restaurant called an art school? I found out uh, with Paul Askew, who's just such a, a wonderful chef and a great ambassador for Liverpool. Absolutely. So the art school is is one of our sort of premium restaurants here. Uh, and Paul Askew, who is the owner and chef there, uh, is featured on TV quite often, quite a celebrity. Uh, and he's noted for using local produce right. and, and actually putting something back into the community as well. Um, so he, he has a great restaurant there and it is very well renowned. Yeah, we, uh, we didn't eat well at all, right? Oh, it was awful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we had a quite the evening. It was really quite beautiful. Now, let's just briefly talk about some of the events coming up here uh, that maybe some of our viewers, our travel advisors, can key on. One is one that you don't think of, and, and you're going to be host of the Eurovision, uh, which is this song competition. Very, very famous yeah. in Europe. Not so famous in the States. Got a little bit notoriety because the song that won last year was from Ukraine. And actually, they should have been the host, but Liverpool is sort of subbing for them on this one right tell yeah. us tell us a little bit about that and how maybe uh, some of our travel advisors could key on that yeah sure so Eurovision uh, which was held last year it was held in Turin and Ukraine uh, won that competition uh, obviously for reasons you know uh, due to the war they can't host it this year so so because Liverpool because um, the UK came second Liverpool was chosen through a very competitive process to host it um, so we are very fortunate to do that so we'll be hosting it on behalf of Ukraine Eurovision Song Contest has an audience of about 100 60 million globally so um, it's huge it really is huge so it reaches all corners of the world um, very popular in, in Europe uh, Aus Australia uh, and that audience is growing so if, if your audience in uh, America has has a, a chance to, to view it then I would certainly recommend uh, you know to see it and also it's going to be a great advert for Liverpool as well Absolutely. Um, no, and it's a great that yeah. you can host it now and you've got some other things you get some golfing uh, events coming as well we have yeah so um, Liverpool is actually sort of like, like sort of centre of a brand which we called England's Gulf Coast. So you have three royal courses within that area. So you have Royal Lytham, Lytham and St Anne's, you have Royal Birkdale, and you have Royal Liverpool. And the Open Championship this year will be held at Royal Liverpool, uh, which is only about uh, 20 minutes from Liverpool City Centre. Um, so that again will put Liverpool on the world's um, you know sort of spotlight again, uh, which is great. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell our 110,000 uh, travel advisors out Absolutely. there? about Absolutely. Liverpool today? Yeah, sure. Uh, we've got a great art um, exhibition coming up, which will run uh, from early summer through to the autumn. That's called the Liverpool Biennial. Um, so that basically brings in uh, contemporary art from around the world, which will all be hosted in Liverpool. Mm -hmm. So all our art galleries and museums will, will take part in that. And there'll also be outdoor art installations as well. Um, so that is a great thing to come and see. Um, so yeah, we'd, we'd recommend your viewers to bring their clients to Liverpool. We've always got a lot going on this isn't this, this is like a normal year normal where year. we have lots of exhibitions and, and festivals and and uh, events going on so you know people are never stuck for something to do now where can uh, travel advisors go to learn more about uh, Liverpool well they can contact myself so um, I'm freely available at uh, visit Liverpool so my email address is uh, jwood at marketingliverpool.co.uk uh, also they can go to our website which is visit liverpool.com where you can see all the attractions all the events uh, we also have a downloadable travel trade guide on there as well, uh, giving lots of ideas for things to do in the, in the city for uh, tour operators. Fantastic. Yeah. And so for good. And so take a look at this is a fantastic city to visit, especially this year and any year. Uh, there's just so much going on. And uh, you know, I was introduced to it about four or five years ago. And I, I well, before COVID, I, I should say. And now we're back and uh, Liverpool's back big time. And it really is a wonderful city of culture, a city of culinary, obviously the Beatles, obviously football, but there is so much more to do. Again, James, thanks for taking some time uh, to talk to us about Liverpool, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much, James. Much appreciated, and we do hope to see you back again soon. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.